Since I was a little kid, everything I've wanted to do in life was to create my own chest opening. And now I've finally done it. I've created the cow opening, which is an opening that many have claimed to be very anti-traditional and an opening that you cannot use against higher rated people. Well, today, everybody, I'm going to prove you wrong and I'm going to show you that I can use the cow opening to beat 2100s. I will be doing a challenge where I will play online blitz games until I lose a single game with the cow opening. We will see how long this video becomes. We will see how many people I'll be able to beat. But one thing will be for sure, the cow opening works. <laughs> now, before we get started, I've seen a lot of people saying, Anna, your hair looks so voluminous. Wait, is that how you say it? Okay, Anna, your skin looks great. What is your skincare routine? Well, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video, Geology. Geology is a company that specializes in skincare for everyone. They provide a 30 second quiz that you can take where they ask you different questions about your skin so that the products you receive really fit your skin type. They have all kinds of different products from face washes to deodorants to creams to shampoos and conditioners. I have been using their shampoo lately, which smells really great, keeps my hair voluminized, but also just feels really great on my hair. It's also color safe, which is really great for me as I have dyed my hair blonde. Using the Geology Skincare Trial Set, you will have everything you need for a good looking and good feeling skin. And right now, for a limited amount of time, they have an amazing offer going on. With code ANNA70, you can get 70% off the award-winning skincare trial plus up to 50% off any add-ons. So make sure you check out the link in the description box down below and let's get back to the video. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and start the challenge. So the games are gonna be three minutes long. There's gonna be no increment because the cow is fast. The cow needs no increment. So we have right now the first game I'm playing as Pedrin, Pedrin, and I'm gonna prove to Pedrin that you know what? The cow can go a very long way. Now this person has no profile picture, completely anonymous. I, you know, I, I, I don't know anything about Pedrin, but Pedrin will soon know quite a lot about us and about the cow. So let's go ahead and get our, our cow position. This is now the cow opening. We pushed the pawns one step. We got the knights in this position. And now typically what I like to do is that I like to first get my bishops out castle and then strike back to the center. This is one of the biggest things in the cow. You have to strike back towards the center. So we have a few different things that we could do. I think actually I'm gonna push here with the idea of going C5. And now I think this is looking like a very normal opening. Like this really does not look strange at all. Like if you saw this position, you would not think that it ar ar arose from, I think that's a word, from a um, an opening called the cow. <laughs> you would think that this is completely normal chess that you're witnessing. So I'm gonna go C5. I wanna get this move going pretty quickly before it's too late, I think. So. The bishop goes up, there's now this sort of kind of threat I think we'll take. And after bishop takes, I am gonna ask myself the question, can I capture can I capture this pawn? And I think I can. I think I can. I don't see why I cannot, and I like to live by the motto. If I don't know why I can't, then I will do it. Now I'm starting to get slightly scared, but I think we're fine. I'll just get my bishop out. We're we're totally we're doing good. We're we're doing totally fine. Like, this is this is fine. Um, if takes, I'll take back with the queen. We're playing pretty fast. And also, if takes, then Pedrin will be without his fantastic light squared bishop. So. Okay, so I have a question, Pedrin. I have one important question, which is what happens if I take here? Are you going to take there? Is that what you're all about? No, you're going to give me your queen instead. Okay, that's much better, Pedrin. Thank you. Are you going to continue the game? Is this person continuing the... Okay, they're not. It's like they heard me. <laughs> what is this? 
I can literally hear this person. Now, I'm not going to take a rematch for the sense of the of the challenge. We're going to move on. But thank you so much, Pedrin, for the game. And thank you for the queen. That was awesome. Let's go for the next one. You see, with the cow, you get a very quick queen. So let's go E3 once again. We're going to go for the cow opening. And now I'm playing against another person without profile picture. What's the deal with people not having a profile picture? People, get your profile pictures up. Get your cows up. Get whatever profile picture you want to have out there. Um, okay, let's go for the cow opening. We got the knights up here. We got the pawns. And now I'm going to push uh, and go bishop e2. Now, sometimes I've gone h4 and gone crazy, but I'm going to take a more solid approach this game. I'm learning from my dear mother. So everything I got to do this game is to not blunder, which should be easy. So I'm going to go e4 and I really want to go f4, which I think in this position is fine because I want to get my bishop out. And if my opponent doesn't take, I want to push f5. So if this move, I might be able to go e5. In fact, I think I'm able to go e5. OK, I don't see what's wrong with this move. The knight will probably have to retreat. And after the knight retreats. Yes. So now now. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Wait, 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 wait. I'm pretty sure I have something good. I just need to like truly find it. So I have several things I can do. I'm getting like really excited. So I could push here. Bum, bum, bum. I don't know if this is uh, truly good though. I really want to go bishop here like with all my heart. But the issue is that there's this move. So maybe I should go queen d2 to stop that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here and I'm just going to prevent that. Okay, this is good. And now I'm going to go bishop here. That's going to be like the main thing here. So now I'm going to go bishop there. And if takes, I'll just simply take it back. Yeah. And then, yeah, th that will be really good. And the threat now is to maybe at some point push. And it, it needs to be in the right moment. Or I'll just win a free piece. Thank you so much, Ma Imagine, for the free piece. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, the cow today is hungry and the cow is picking up a lot of free stuff. This is pretty great. This is pretty great. We're going to go ahead and get the second rook involved here as well. I really want to take this. Um, I think this is just an absolutely fantastic possession. We'll see if my opponent continues the game or if they resign. I have a feeling they're going to continue the game. So let's see if they do. Let's see if they do. Will they continue? They're taking a long thing. Are they Are they rage quitting? Did they leave? No, they did not. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you for not leaving. Let's bring this rook right over here. I really want to capture this pawn. It's looking awesome. Mm, and I really kind of... Okay, now they resign. Yeah, now they did rage quit. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy though. I'm happy. Once again, everybody, we are right now two wins in a row. We're climbing up the ranks. I'm happy. The cow is doing what it's supposed to do. I hope this is maybe serving as some sort of inspiration for you to maybe want to try this opening as well. Like I said, is it, you know, in terms of engine, the best opening out there? No, but does it make your opponents a little bit confused? Yes. And it's working in this level, you know, there's 2000 plus games and it's working. So we're going to go for one more. Let's see how many games we can win in a row. Game number three, Jerry, are you going to be my next victim? Another person without their profile picture. You know what? I'm sort of thinking about Tom and Jerry, you know, Tom and Jerry, but cow and Jerry, you know what I mean? I'm sort of thinking about that. Okay. So Bishop there, we're going to go, um, we're going to go knight g3. I love it when people... Is this? Is my opponent mirroring the cow? My opponent is playing the hippo against the cow. G6? Okay, this is like... Okay, this is a very weird opening. My opponent is playing like a sort of... Sort of hippo style opening against my cow, which is very strange. I actually have never had someone play this against me when I've played the cow. So... After this move, I the, the threat is to push. So I could go h4, but I'm not going to lie. I'm not a big fan of when I've gone h4. So I think I'm going to go h3 instead. And the idea of this is just to retreat the knight to e2. And then to find a better home for this knight, you know? So actually... Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to... I'm just going to do some... 
Don't hate me, okay? Maybe I'm gonna place the knight over here. I think in this specific situation, the knight is better here than what it was in G3. So you may say, Anna, okay, like, why did you do this whole thing with the knights in the beginning? Okay, maybe it was slightly useless, but I'm actually pretty happy now with the, with the, with the position. So I'm gonna get my bishop all the way up to G5. After this, okay, they're going pretty fast. I do need to remember my speed. I sometimes kind of forget about my speed. So I do need to remember about it or, or think about it. Um, I'm considering several moves. One move that I'm really liking though is, actually I'm gonna take. And I'm just gonna go queen here and I wanna place a queen right over there and I really wanna try to take that. So now actually I have a few different things that I can do. But I like this. I I'm simply just going to take and I'm just gonna say, hey, your pawns are slightly weak. So I'm gonna go queen e3, threatening that pawn. Probably will see knight d7, which is totally fine. Um, and I think we my opponent wants to long castle. So I'm probably, am I gonna go f4? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So I'm gonna go for this move. I'm gonna have to go really fast now because I'm so much lower on time than my opponent. My opponent can long castle now if they want to, and I will long castle as well. And then I'm gonna go bishop e2 on this. So we're gonna go queen right over here, sort of kind of threatening the knight a little bit. Um, get the bishop out. Oh, this is, this is something. Actually, now I wanna go short castle. It's kind of weird, but I really wanna do it after I'm seeing this. So my opponent really wants to um, flag me now, I think. So I'm gonna go a4 just to get this square for my knight. So after b4, I'll just go knight here, and then I'm gonna get this square available for myself. So I actually am very confused about what my opponent's doing. I think we're gonna go b3. I really don't know what my opponent is doing over here, actually. We're gonna go queen right over there, and I'm threatening now this knight. Am I gonna get another free knight? Probably not. Probably not. Six, six. So we're gonna go all the way. Ah, okay. Actually, I probably have to take, take, and then go knights here. I think this is going to be necessary now. Now my biggest issue is definitely gonna be time. But I do think we have a perfectly good position. So we're gonna go knight h2, knight g4. Come on. I really want to beat Jerry. I really... Jerry just plays in such an annoying way. You know why? Because Jerry just stops every single one of my plants. It's actually so annoying. <laughs> Jerry is very annoying. That's the way you play chess the best, you know? I mean, I'm not saying anything about that, but... Let's get the king right over here. I'm hoping Jerry gets bored and just goes ahead and does something slightly crazy. I mean, this is very draw. This is such a drawn position, but the issue is the time, right? I just need to pre-move here, to be honest. That's going to be number one, the most important thing to do. Unless, I mean, unless Jerry does something crazy, like gives up a pawn. Okay, there we go. It's a draw. It's a draw. Well, you know what? Let's take a rematch against Jerry. Let's, I didn't lose with the cow. Let's take a rematch against Jerry. You know, we drew him. I feel like it's, it's, it's fair. So... Like I said, the challenge ends when I lose a game. We still haven't lost, we drew. So 
Jerry plays in such an interesting way. Come on, let's push here. I like Jerry's way of playing chess, to be honest. Look at that. Look at the pawns. Let me... Do I go all the way there? You know what? I'm going to play in a weird way myself. H5, I'll go knight f1. Knight over here. And I'm going to have some fun. So let's go right over there. I'm going to get this knight here. I realize the way Jerry plays is just by going like super fast, which... It's actually pretty smart. It's quite clever. So now we're gonna want to go g4. This is my idea. Or bishop g4. I think we might see a long castle. No, we're not. Instead, I'm gonna push here just to eliminate the defense of this pawn. And now the okay, now my opponent is really pushing that. Okay. So I think I'm gonna sack the pawn. Um, and actually I think this is quite nice. If takes, I have this crazy move, bishop g5, which I have now anyway. So now I'm confused about how this is gonna be defended. Okay, Jerry once again striking with a creativity very creative chess <laughs> wait what is this this looks insane this looks absolutely insane okay i'm gonna go f5 honestly the cow i mean you may say anything you want about it but the cow you cannot deny that it leads to extremely crazy chess positions <laughs> like when have you seen something like this so now it's time for us now it's time for us it's time what is it time for what is it time for? I feel like there's time for a few different things, but one of them is going to be to push here. So we're going to start with this, and I think we also have, if takes, the idea is going to be to bring this queen in here, and I'm very excited. So yeah, let's bring the queen. Come on. Come on, Jerry. Ooh la la. Queen check. I think takes is going to be one of the only moves. <gasps> My opponent goes there. This is insane. This is... This is... I'm a, I'm a little speechless. I'm going to be honest to you. I am slightly speechless. So... Wow. Okay. Okay, let's take this. I am slightly speechless. Let's see what happens here. I think... This is actually quite crazy. I cannot believe I'm seeing what I'm seeing right now. Okay, let's take and take. I guess this bishop needs to get out. Is this queen... Is king really just there? Is the king really just... Just there? I don't even know how to attack it though. I'm just happy we have more time than him. I need to get the queen right over there. That's what I gotta do. Or maybe, no, you know what? I just need to push. That's what I need to do. I just need to push. I found the plan. If I'm able to push, we got this. So, this is crazy. Okay, let's, let's go here. And I really wanna go queen check and push as well. That's my other idea. I don't know if my opponent's gonna go queen there with the crazy hope of checkmating me in some miraculous way. I slightly have the feeling they're gonna do it, but then I have... Then I... Look at that! They did it! Oh, that's actually hilarious. Um, Check, check, check. King. So... This is a very weird, weird situation. This is actually a very weird situation. Queen up. I, I really want to go takes, but... Actually, I think we just take here. Now that I'm thinking about it. There's no way. No, there is... There... No. I mean, like, there, there's just no way. Okay, let's take. Come on. There's, like, actually no way that this works. It's no absolute way that that literally works so takes takes oh my let's go bishop here i i'm just gonna take here i don't know what's about to happen but i actually probably should have taken immediately now that i'm thinking about it but i'm just gonna take now I'm gonna bring in the rock.
Boom! Jerry did not see that and neither did I. <laughs> okay, that actually took me a while to see the checkmate. The cow strikes again, everybody. We are right now at what? How many wait wins? We have we have three and a half wins. Yeah, no, we have three wins, one draw, right? That is the score we're at. We're continuing until I lose a game. Let's go for the next one. I'm playing as Wubby Bubby. <laughs> Wubby Bubby. Okay. Okay. So what is that? Is that like a baseball like stick? Um. Okay, you know what? The cow is not scared of baseball sticks. Come on. The cow is going to strike again. Let's bring the knight out. I actually cannot believe we're winning all these games. This is awesome. I'm going to get my knight right over here to g6. I'm threatening this bishop. And I'm not going to lose the pawn. Because I, I have a thing where I almost like always want to push. But then I realize that I'm losing a pawn. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. So... Actually, here we're going to push now. I really want to go for this. And now the idea is that h4 does not work because I pick up the pawn. And I'm threatening to trap this bishop. So we're going to go all the way here. The bishop will move. And I really want to get this knight involved. Like, I want to have some fun with that knight. But I'm not going to have the fun yet. I will probably castle first. And then we'll see a little bit what my opponent does. What will Wubby Bubby do? Wubby Bubby. I feel like I've heard those words before. But I don't know why I would have heard the words Wubby Bubby. <laughs> I actually have no idea whatsoever. <laughs> um, so takes. I mean, I guess we take. That's like the most natural thing to do. And after bishop takes, which I believe is gonna be the move we're gonna see, I think we're just gonna go c5. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna. No, did I have a free pawn? Okay, I did. Okay, we're gonna go c. Okay, wait. I just realized something. I guess, uh, okay, I realize that if I do, I'm not careful, this queen is coming in with all its force. So let's go knights here. I'm going to take this. Oh my, am I, <gasps> wait, am I getting checkmated? I'm not, right? No, queen there, I go f5. No fear. No fear. I think we have it. I think we got it. It's okay. It is okay, I think. So... Let's see now what else my opponent decides to do. So far, I'm feeling pretty good, I think. Let's see. F5. Come on. Rook goes there. Okay, so actually, I think I'm just going to take this now and just going to just gonna try to exchange queens. I need to get my queen out of this whole file. And now if we exchange queens, I don't see why it would be worse. Apart from the fact that... Well, apart from the fact that my bishop sucks, but I have the bishop pair. And you know what they say about the bishop pair? They say that the bishop pair is good. <laughs> um, now I just have to prove that it's good. All right, let's go a6 and then just push. I'm going to get my bishop right over here. That's the plan. And this bishop needs a little bit more of, you know, fun. Like this bishop is not doing much. I'm going to get the bishop right over there. Bishop b7, rook in here, and I think we are all set up. I think actually that looks pretty good. And we just gotta play fast, but I got more time than Wubby Bubby. <laughs> Wubby Bubby, it's actually quite a funny name. All right, so Bishop here, Knight there, and now people, my opponent really wants, okay, my opponent really wants this. Actually, actually, oh no, my opponent, I should have gotten G5, shouldn't I? Uh-oh. Yeah, actually, I think I need to go bishop here, which is not a move I want to do. I, I have to go g5 the move after. Probably, maybe my opponent will go knight there. But then I'll just retreat. I don't care. Yeah, this is fine. This is probably fine. King goes here. What is the... Sorry, the knight goes there. What is the knight doing there? Oh, the knight is trying to take my pawn. Oh, no. No, don't take my pawn. So, this, 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 this. I think I... I think I need to go king of seven. G5. I generally think I just need to go king G6 and I just need to play this. And I'm going to be pushing here and I'm just going to try to play against this king somehow. Or I'm going to try to flag my opponent, one of the two. I didn't want to let the knight come in here. So I'll probably get this bishop here attacking the knight 
Okay, now I'm not sure what this knight... Uh, <laughs> okay, I don't know what this knight is doing. Like, what is up with this knight? Anna, just move. Don't think. Let's get this rook right over here. And then... Wait, where is this thing going? I'm gonna get my bishop there. Where is my... Oh. Okay. I see this now. Okay, let's go bishop here. Come on, where does the rook go? Rook goes there. Oh, there's this big threat. That's kind of scary. Okay, you know what? I think we gotta go rook h7. I think we gotta do it. And now I'm just gonna have to try to flag my opponent. The rook is trying to come in. It's just slightly terrifying. I just need to play fast. That's honestly everything I need to do. Okay, let's do this. I'm threatening the rook. Okay, where are my pawns though? Bobby, everybody and the strike continues we are on out of five games four and a half points with the cow this is actually crazy i just got back to 2100 with the cow this is actually insane i'm not leaving until i lose the game and right now with the cow it feels impossible let's go for the next one i'm playing in sin since yeah i'm playing as the wfm so we have the same title she seems to be from brazil um, so let's see how this goes. I'm excited. She's probably never seen a cow. I mean, she's <laughs> Okay, she's seen a cow, but I mean she's never seen the cow opening. All right, let's get the bishop out She's going really fast. I mean she is a speed monster. What is this? This is This is crazy. She's fast. I don't think I've ever met her like I don't think I've ever played a tournament I don't remember her at least, you know, the chess world when it comes to like title players and like chess tournaments is like pretty small. Like I feel like most people have seen like each other at some point, but I don't recognize her. So I don't know. Maybe I have seen her though. She's playing my worst like nightmare when it comes to like pawn structures. I absolutely despise this pawn structure. But you know, she seems to like it. So let's go c5. Actually, you know what? I think this is fine. The cow opening makes this a little bit better. So where do I kick this thing away to? I want to go e5. I guess I should do this. Let's see where this knight goes. The knight is going there. What is the deal with people putting the knights on g4? Like, where is this knight going? That's what I don't understand. Okay, I'm going to go there. Is, is this thing going to go there? Let, let, let's take a moment. Let's take one second wait takes check this is what she wants to do takes check takes check this bishop takes i don't believe in it maybe i should but i don't Ah, I forgot about um, this. Wait, should I? I should believe in it. You know what? The only thing I can do here is to take. So if I'm gonna get checkmated, then I'm gonna get checkmated. No. No, don't tell me it's over. Don't tell me it's over. This run was too beautiful. This run was too beautiful for it. Oh no, it's over. I'm getting checkmated. There is absolutely no way for me to stop it. I can't believe it. If I could do two moves in a row, it'd be fine. The problem is that I can't. I don't think I can do anything. I don't... 
That is crazy. Okay, let's just do this, I guess. Yep, I'm gonna... Yep, she's destroying my count. Okay. Okay, she destroyed my count. I spoke too soon. I should have seen the night coming. I, I literally spoke too soon. Okay, we did win quite a lot of games. We ended up starting with a four and a half out of five streak and then we lost the last game. But I hope with this run, you get inspired to maybe try the cow yourself. <laughs> um, we did end up winning quite a few games. I'm actually really happy. I hope you enjoyed this little challenge that I did. Let me know if you do end up playing any cow openings and how it goes. And thank you so much, Geology, once again for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.